hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Uh, I know this is a tough time and we are trying to deal with it ourselves. This is totally out of like, out of what we've ever expected. Uh, but we are, we're, we're holding up. So while we're holding up, we're gonna try and see what we can do to support you as well, the best way we can. And uh, by giving you opportunity to create good smoothies and to maintain healthy at home, that's something that you want to try and practice and build good habits around that. Especially such um, with what's going on and you want to keep your body as strong and nourished as possible during this time. Alright, let's get going. Alright, so again I'm going to have the recipe in the description box. Today the smoothie is going to have almond milk, okay? And we're going to put in, we're going to start with one cup of almond milk into the blender. Alright, so eight ounces, okay? And we're going to put two cups of ice. You can if you want to, but I want mine rich. I want thick, you know, just so I feel like I'm having something that's like a dessert. Okay, and then I'm going to put uh, chia seeds. Chia seeds is high in nutrition. It has um, omega fatty acids. And when you are stressed, you need healthy fats to bring that cortisol level down so you want to put the chia seeds in there another one i'm going to be putting in there is believe it or not half cup of blueberries okay so you're going to put in half cup of blueberries and very very high in antioxidants uh vitamin c k very nutritious these are things that you want to pump your body with at this time this phase in life all right, the next ingredient I'm gonna put in here is avocado. I've already washed it, prepped it. Again, this is my smoothie, so I'm not using any gloves. I wash my hands and practice good safety precautions. So I'm gonna put one whole avocado in there. When you think of stress, when you feel stress, think of healthy fats, okay? Stress, I need healthy fats. So I already put my eyes, my almond milk, and I need something sweet. I'm gonna put some of agave nectar in there. Yes. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of agave nectar. Here we go. So whatever brand you want at this time, there's no specific brand, but just a little hint to kinda, you know, make things run a little bit smoother. Now this is where things get really interesting. Dark chocolate cacao, dark chocolate, high, high antioxidant. I'm gonna put a tablespoon, yeah. Like I'm going extra hard with this one. But you know what? Need some chocolate. And to finish it off, I'm gonna put in mine, you don't have to, I want to, I use the olive plant protein. You can use whey, I don't recommend whey. Whey um, makes your body more acidic plant protein kind of helps your body to stay alkaline you want it to stay alkaline especially in high stress situations and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it and again the recipe will be in the description <laughs> Wow. Mm. If you 
you're not used to avocado in your smoothie, it is gonna take a little bit of a few sips. It's an acquired taste, uh, especially with the chia seeds. But you, you want to you want to introduce your palate to these type of things because as you pump good things into your body, your body gives you back good energy response. So remember, your body is a science. Give it the right conditions and it responds accordingly. All right. Thanks for staying tuned and be safe out there and stay positive and prepare. Instead of panic, prepare. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Fiverr.